Today in this tutorial, we're gonna explore how you can turn simple text prompts into incredible AI generated videos just like these using one of my favorite AI tools, Kyber.ai. It's an AI text to video generator and you can really create some incredible works of art with it. First, we're gonna very briefly look at the plans they have available and how you can access the free trial. Then we'll look at how you can turn text prompts into AI generated videos. Then we'll look at their video transformation tool where you can use a text prompt to add style to a video that you already have. And lastly, we'll upload some audio and generate some video that is reactive to the audio. That way it creates a cool little music video. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that now, especially if you enjoy learning about AI and how you can create incredible things with AI. And please like the video as well. It definitely helps me out. Let's get into it. To get started, you just wanna to go to kyber.ai and I'll put a link in the description as well. And Kyber does offer a free trial. As you can see here, they have three different plans and their Explorer plan, uh, it's usually $5 per month, uh, but they do offer a seven day free trial where they credit you 60 credits for free. And after that, you're billed $5 per month and you get 300 credits per month. With the Explorer plan, you do have all of the functionality within Kyber. You have access to all of the features. The only downside is that you can only make one minute videos. If you wanna make longer videos, you'll need to upgrade to the Pro plan. And the Pro plan is 15 bucks per month. That includes 1000 credits. And you can also make eight minute videos. You can also upscale your videos to 1080p or 4K. And with the Artist plan, that's 30 bucks per month. 2,500 credits. And again, you have all of the functionality within Kyber. Whenever you find a plan that works for you, just go and click subscribe now, and let's go and make some videos. Once you're logged into Kyber, just go ahead and click on create video in the upper right hand corner. And from here, you can either upload an initial image that you would like to generate your video based on, or you can upload a video and transform the style of a video, which will transform the style of a video here in a second. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and upload an image that I generated on Midjourney. It's an image of a BMW uh, driving through the Swiss Alps. And over here in the upper left-hand corner, there are two text boxes for two different prompts. The first one is for the subject of the video that you would like to generate, and the second one is for the style of the video. So because I uploaded an image of a BMW driving through the Swiss Alps, I'm gonna use a prompt that correlates with that image. That way the video will be generated uh, based on that subject. And this prompt says, BMW speeding on a winding Alpine road through a town on a beautiful spring day in the snow-capped Swiss Alps. And Kyber has a lot of preloaded styles uh, for your video that you can choose from, such as steampunk, 3D rendering, and for this video right here, I'm gonna go ahead and use photorealistic. And after you select your style, you can just click on video settings. And from here, you can adjust the duration of your video. Uh, every second of your video will cost you one credit. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to only six seconds long. And you can also adjust the camera movement as well. I'm gonna select zoom out and to the right because I'm hoping the camera will kind of follow the car as it's driving along the Alpine road. And you can adjust how much you want the video to transform as well uh, using the evolve setting. So obviously the lower uh, the evolve setting, the less transformation you'll see within the video and the higher the setting, uh, the more transformation you'll see. So um, if you wanted it to stay fairly static, go ahead and set it to one. If you want a lot of uh, random things, things to happen throughout the video, uh, go ahead and adjust it all the way up to 10. So for this video right here, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to 10. And if you would like to upload a song as well uh, for the video to sync to some music, you can go ahead and upload that over here in the bottom right hand corner. And if you'd like for the video to play back, uh, once it's played forward, you can click on boomerang and it'll just reverse the video after it plays through once. And after you have all this set, just click on go to preview frames. And from here, you can select the initial frame of your video. I'm gonna go with this fourth image right over here in the bottom right hand corner. And there's also a storyboard option as well if you'd like to tie together several different scenes of your video. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna stick with one scene right here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on create video. Now Kyber has been getting a lot of traffic lately, so uh, depending on the time of day that you're using Kyber, it may or may not take a long time to generate the video. I've seen it take anywhere from a few minutes all the way up to 20 to 30 minutes, but they've been getting a lot better recently and the videos have been generating a lot quicker. 
So I'm just gonna go and pause the video right now and wait for it to be finished. So it only took about three minutes right now, which wasn't very long at all. And let's go and check out our video. And as you can tell, the BMW is transforming through various different models of BMWs as it's driving down the Swiss Alpine Road. And the reason why it's doing that is because I um, adjusted the Evolve setting all the way up to 10. So that's why you're seeing a lot of transformation right here. If you wanted it to, again, uh, stay fairly static, you could just adjust that down. But for now, let's go ahead and transform a video. So you just wanna go ahead and click on create video again in the upper right hand corner. From here, just go ahead and drag and drop your video clip onto the box that says transform an existing video. And I've got this video clip right here of a jellyfish swimming through an ocean. It's only five seconds long and really similar to what we just did. You wanna go ahead and type in the subject of the video that you would like to generate. So my prompt right here says robotic steampunk jellyfish swimming through a glowing ocean. And for the style of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and select steampunk and click on video settings. And from here, again, you can trans you can adjust how much you would like for the video to transform. I'm gonna go and lower it down to four. Last time we did 10. So I would like to see what it does when it's a little bit more static. And from here, just go ahead and click on go to preview frames. Really similar to last time, you just wanna go ahead and select the initial frame for your video. I'm gonna go with the second frame right here and then just click on create video. Transforming videos does take a little bit more time than generating them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video again and let y'all know how long it took. Okay, so this time it took about seven minutes to uh, generate this transformed video. Let's go ahead and check it out. So as you can tell, obviously the new video is of a steampunk style jellyfish. And just for comparison, I'm gonna go ahead and put the initial video up here on the screen as well. And as you can tell, uh, they're really similar. It's just the uh, video we just generated is in a steampunk style. So I'm sure you can imagine all of the possibilities with this, with all of the videos that you have on your, on your phone, all of the amazing things that you would be able to create. And if you'd like to upscale the video as well, uh, you can do that right here by clicking on upscale video. Uh, for 1080p, it's one credit for every 10 seconds. And for 4K, it's one credit for every five seconds. But I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Let's go ahead and generate a music video. So we'll upload some audio and generate a video that will be synced to the music. So again, just go ahead and click on create video. And from here, just go ahead and drag over the image for the initial frame of your music video, and then click continue to prompt. And again, I just described the subject of your music video. So mine right here says a dancing crowd at a crazy concert and then scroll down and select the style of your music video. And I'm gonna select watercolor for this video. And then just scroll down a little bit further and go ahead and drag over the audio clip that you would like to be synced to your music video. So here's a clip of the audio I'm using. Uh, it's one that I generated on SoundRaw. It's an AI music generator. And be sure to trim your audio track before you upload it because the length of the audio clip will be the length of your video. So if you upload an audio clip that's one minute long, that's gonna cost you 60 credits. And from here, we're just gonna go through the other settings. I'm gonna select zoom in, and I'm going to bring the evolve up to eight. And from here, you can adjust how much you want the video to react from the audio. So I'm gonna go ahead and select high and click on go to preview frames. And just like before, we're gonna select an initial frame of our video. I'm gonna go with this third one right over here in the bottom left-hand corner. And then just click create video. So this time it took about three minutes to generate this video, so it wasn't too bad. And as you can tell, the generated video is synced up and reacting to the audio clip. And as you can imagine, if the audio clip was quite a bit longer, you know, if there's a 20, 30 second audio clip, you would see a lot more transitions within this video. And that's one way you could get that full music video. And if you wanna see how you can generate your own music and tie a whole bunch of these Kyber generated videos together, I made a complete guide on how to create an AI generated music video. So I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. If y'all got value out of this tutorial, go ahead and like it and go ahead and subscribe. It really helps me out. I'll see y'all next time.